Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Toya. Thank you so much for clicking. Um, today I'm going to be doing a container tour inspiration. Just walking around showing my containers. Um, I'm gonna also give you like a mini tour of everything that's going on in my yard. We'll talk about the things that are going on, there's blooming or whatever. Um, but let me just address the elephant in the room. If you are a subscriber, thank you for still being here. I've been MIA forever, whatever. And my content, you never knew we would get here, did you? <laughs> I bet you never thought we would be here, but here we are. Um, yeah, I was doing some other things on my channel. If you want to see the foolery that I was doing on my channel, it's still there. You are free to check that out. But from going forward, this will definitely be a gardening based video also like some christmas decor because i am one of those crazy christmas people so anyway i said i was only gonna take three minutes for introduction and then we go get back into it because if you are new here you have no idea who i am and what i am doing and why did i get here and how did i get here so welcome so i'm just gonna take a minute or two and just tell you what's going on i got my little gardener of the year coffee mug here I'm sitting in my most favorite spot in the house, which is my covered, it's not even in my house, it's my covered, I'm gonna give you guys a view, my covered um, gazebo. I come here and have my coffee. Um, okay, let me just tell you briefly, I got one minute to tell you who I am and what I am and what I'm gonna do. So I started gardening pretty much during the and that's when I got serious about it. And I just became obsessed with it, in love with it. Here we go. I We actually moved into this house in March of 2020. And as soon as we moved in, the started. So I've been gardening in this property for that many years. Um, what else do you need to know? Just as an intro. I mean, I talk a lot. I do. So, you'll get to know me as we go forward. I promise to give you content. I have three children that are very active. A husband um, who also is very active and busy. So, this is like my therapy, my safe space. Um, I learned gardening completely from YouTube and trial and error. And so, this is like my thank you to YouTube and to the fellow YouTube gardeners because I never would have started gardening if it wasn't for the YouTubers. And I'm also, I'm a flower, just so you know, I'm a flower gardener. So if y'all here for all the fruits and vegetables, I am doing, I'm doing more this year than I ever have done. I'm gonna give you a, like last year, all I did was, I don't say all I did, but last year I had maybe two tomato plants, two or three tomato plants, like two plants of okra. And then I had your herbs, like parsley, um, oregano uh, mint deal that's it but I've been watching the homesteaders and I have next year I'm going to plan a whole it's gonna I'm gonna span and do more because I'm, I'm gonna show you what I got going on this year and I do have a plan to do that next year but anyway i said i was gonna keep this under three minutes it's four minutes i'm gonna start the like i said i'm gonna just walk you kind of around my yard so you can see what's going on oh i'm in zone 6a which is a new zone 6 it was zone 5 i live like probably about an hour 10 15 minutes south of chicago so i live in a suburban area um so yeah that's very important to say so i'm gonna go ahead and show you these containers and show you what's going on in my yard i actually am disclaimer i actually i didn't do anything in my yard today um aside from cut my fountain on and open my umbrella but we did just have landscapers come and edge most of the property and mulch most of the area so let's go so as my covered gazebo i don't like how this is See, I'm new to this is a difference. I don't like this stand. Okay, we're gonna get through it today though. So as you leave this stand, this is the first containers that I'm gonna walk you through. It's 
this is my fountain area here. And um, many of you probably know what this is. I can't think of the name of it. It's a house plant too. Is it a crow tent? Or I don't know y'all. Like I am new to gardening. I'm a beginner. I'm a novice. So these names, mm -mm. I'm gonna do my best. Now this is Lobelia. And I had some um, uh, morning glory that I grew from seed and the bunnies already ate it. I put it here thinking I could trail it here and they wouldn't get to it. They did, look, right here, they ate it all. We have a bunny war going on right now in my neighborhood. And then I did the same thing here. It's a morning glory that I grew from seed and I had it like trailing over here, but whatever. And then this is a, in the ground, this is the hydrangea. I have no idea what it is until it blooms. But I can see geraniums here. I put a couple of lobelia in there. Lobelia in there. Um, and then this is a little cute Japanese. I always wanted some Japanese maple and they were so expensive and I didn't ever want to buy them. And these were like $35 at the Home Depot. And I'm like, get them to you. So I got the maple, some piconias, polka dot plant. Um, what is this called? Jew, wandering Jew or Tradescantia and some Creeping Jenny. And I did the exact same thing on the other side. And I just tucked in a Lobelia because I feel like with the Lobelia out, it will all kind of, you know, come together, girl, come together. And I just planted these, all these, I just planted these. Today's Monday. Friday and Saturday. So these are very new planting. So we'll come back as the summer progresses and see how they look. Now, if you turn around, here's another planter. And um, I like her because she is very low maintenance. She, I don't have to do nothing with her. I forget what kind of vine is this, ivory? Or what's the other one? I don't know. This is one of those vines that you get from Walmart, like 144 or something. This is a begonia, big wing, begonia. Uh, what is this spike called? Quarter lime. And then I have a dahlia back here, a tuber that I woke up from last season. I have no idea what kind until it comes up. And then I just tuck these uh, what do you call it? coleus in here and what I love about coleus I'll see if I can find I'll show you as I walk around what I love about the coleus when I, I'm gonna see if I think I have a picture I do I'm gonna insert a picture all I did was take the top I pinched the top off my coleus and stuck them in here they propagate so easy they were tiny tiny like they were literally like imagine if I took this cut the top off and just planted it here. That's exactly what I did. And now it's been maybe, this has been planted maybe for like, this was one of the first planters I planted. This has been planted maybe for like three weeks. And I love her. She don't require much water, much nothing. It gets some sun, but not much. Okay. We go over yonder. Um, I love this planter too. It gets, this planter gets like part sun. And I have a Gerber, Gerber daisy in here, which are annuals for me, which this is the beautiful foliage. That's why I love Gerber daisies because they're always producing, but even when they aren't, like look, look at all those down there that are coming. They're coming, but you still get this beautiful lush foliage. And then there's a dahlia that I put in here that I had last year, tuber. No idea what kind it is until it comes up. And then there's some elephant ears from last season that I put in here. They're doing good. And then these are some calabacoa. Did I leave a tag in here? I'm not sure what kind that is. But we got some calabacoa, some lemon core sedum, and then a dusty miller here. So that's what we got here. And then I did the same exact. Oh, and there's some alyssum in here that I grew from seed. But I chopped it all the way to the back because it looked, it was, it was sad. I'm going to try to insert some pictures of when I first planted this planter. And then I did the exact same thing over here. This one gets more sun. Obviously, look at the dahlia. Look at the elephant ears. And then look at the calabacoa. 
the Gerber daisies. I just pruned those back in the Dusty Miller. But this is a view. Let me show you. This container is very important to me because it's the view that I get out of a house. So when I open my windows, this is the view that I see of the yard. This is 10 minutes already. I wanted to keep this at least 30 minutes. Okay, so let me speed it up. This planter has been so sad to me. Let me go back to the corner. Cause whatever is on this side is duplicate on this side. I didn't even talk about roses, girl. Me and roses ain't really good, but we gon' we go try. <laughs> we gon' try. And then I planted some, I think some onions around the center and then some gladiolus in the middle. I have no idea. I think these, no, these are begonias I planted tubers begonia tubers and i think begonia tubers here because they come in on the other side because the other side gets more um sun so these are the begonias that's coming up the gladioli are coming up as well as i think it's onion or garlic i can't remember girl and then the roses again and then the begonias are coming up here this baby right here she break my heart <laughs> She break my heart because I had high hopes for her. And I'm gonna give her like two more weeks. And then we had cicadas to come through. I don't know if you heard about the uprising of cicadas. It's supposed to be in Chicago, but I did get, this is probably the only place that I could say was damaged. They came through. I thought this was gonna be so gorgeous. Look at these elephant ears. Look, look at the stems. These are um, proven winners, Heart of the Jungle. And they just look terrible. Just look terrible. But this is a new one. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna fertilize this today, and I'm gonna give her two more weeks. And if they don't come back, I'm gonna to um, uh, do some grasses in here. Also, I planted some white stratosphere gara, and I thought that was nice because I could put it in my garden. It's a perennial for me, but I had to cut them back. They're not doing good either. I'm gonna show you a picture of what it looked like when I first planted. But this, this girl, she got two more weeks. Are we gonna have to get her changed out? But we got some Creeping Jenny here. Um, some Coleus. I thought I kept the tag so I know what kind this is. This is a Drummer Orange. And this does um, sun or shade. Um, so we got some Coleus here. Uh, Dusty Miller. There's four of the creeping, and I love creeping Jenny too because I started using them as a ground cover. I show you, so when I get them out the containers, I'm gonna be able to put them in the yard. But this is the white stratosphere gara that was in there. There's three of those, and then there's another coleus, and then creeping Jenny. So this is what this area looks like. Now here what this looks like this is low maintenance I do nothing here I barely water this is a begonia uh, Tweety pie oh that's cute a Tweety pie and this get parche and it actually broke it was windy the other day and I just stuck it back in there and it still looks I mean I'm gonna see if it roots and propagates but that'll fill in sweet potato vine I want that to spill over and then this I grew these pansies from seed so happy for me this is my first year growing stuff from seed and then I tucked in some uh, caladium bulbs that I kept from last year and woke up so that's cute this is another begonia moon dance and then I tucked the coleus in here that I grew from seed back there. It's doing really good. Because it was a baby too. It's doing good. And then this is a sun patient here. I've never this is actually my first time growing sun patients in my garden. This is a sun standing jazz hot pink. I'll come back later in the season so you can see with that. But it drew me because it was variegated. And then this is an asparagus fern. This planter here is doing so much better than I thought it would because this gets part sun. Don't get a lot. But I tucked in, I have a tomato and it's actually doing very well. Um, 
I think I have a squash. Y'all, let me tell y'all what happened. Because if I say I think and I'm not sure what things is, what happened was I had one of those like uh, Amazon, like those portable sun houses. And it was full to the brim. And honey, one day the storm, it, it was windy and it took out everything. And I almost didn't garden for the season. It broke me down. <laughs> and so a lot of my things are mislabeled. I have no idea what they were. I don't know. I'm just getting it because I haven't grown vegetables like that before. I don't. I honestly, genuinely don't know what they are. So if I say something wrong or if I say I'm not sure, it's because I, all my greenhouse fell down and I have, I legit have no idea what it is. So I think this is squash. And I planted another one on this side. And again, I know it's supposed to be in sun, but I just tucked them in it because I had them left over and it's a big container. So I said, what the heck? And this is the marigolds. And then this is some petunias that I grew from seed. And then this is a potato vine. And this is my little, ooh, I gotta water her. Ooh, she gotta get water today. This is my little kitchen garden. Oh, and she's so cute. This is my idea of a vertical planter. I got this from the Chicago Gardener idea because I didn't want a green stalk. And this was a lot cheaper. This was like $49.99 on Amazon. Um, it was on sale. Anyway, let's go through this quickly. So I got some marigolds at the top. I got some other seeds in here, girl. I don't know what they are. We gonna know when they come up. I tucked the coleus in there. We got some collards. And this is like shade. This area is pretty much just shade. So how these petunias and marigolds are growing. I mean, it get a little sun, but not much. But they doing good. Okay, we got a dinosaur kale. Some, I think that's Russian red lettuce. Or I don't know, y'all. I think these are, I did do some teddy dwarf sunflowers in here. That's those. I don't know what else. I think these are um, like the... The, bur the burgundy uh, basil. Got some alyssum I grew from seed, some more collards, petunia I grew from seed, some more lettuce. I think this is a kohlrabi. We'll see as the season progresses. We got lettuces here, parsley, rosemary, thyme, lettuces. This is fennel, parsley. This is a garzanza flower. My first time growing it, I grew it from seed. I put another one on this side. We'll just see what happens. Lettuce, Swiss chard. This is tatsoi. And then these are my little, uh, this is a lemon balm, mint chocolate. This is um, celery and a kale, stevia. And then this is a apple mint. So let's go. This is a bunch of random stuff I have from seed left over that I don't even know what I'm gonna do with and I don't know what they are, so yeah. This is a rose that's struggling. This has garlic in it and some random stuff. I don't know, girl. Roses. This is a container that I'm proud of because I mostly grew everything in here from seed. This is, um, you know how you put together stuff that you just got left over? This is some alyssum. Dusty Miller, Petunia, Gazanza, and I think I took some Gladiola in there. Cause that's what that looks, or no, or that's the elephant ear. It's either an elephant ear or a Gladiola. And I did the exact same thing to this container. This here is a quick fire on standard. I had two, one died. It's doing good. Look at the buds. She likes it here. And I underplanted with some petunias from seed. I even threw some zinnia seeds in here just to see what would happen, girl. Some coleus from seed, alyssum. This is a hydrangea. I thought it was dead, but I was like cutting it and it's still alive. I don't know what kind, but it was struggling when I bought it last year. It's only one other hydrangea on my property that is not in bloom. And this is the second one, so, but it's still alive, honey. It's still alive. like. It's still alive, so I'm just gonna be patient with her. But this is another some patient. Some patient. This is a zinnia from C, and that's a um, girl. Let me tell y'all. This is a hookah. I don't know what kind, but I got this a quart size from Jewels. That's my grocery store, Jewel Osco. They have quart size perennials for three ninety nine. 
or like 349. That's where I got her from. This is uh pansies. I put a sunflower from seed back here. So you can see what's going on. This is my patio. This is actually new. I don't insert a picture. This was nothing but a row of bushes along there. And we put this covered gazebo in and we built this deck so we will have an outdoor outdoor set. So anyway, this is a pan. I'm trying to rush y'all. Maybe I should stop rushing. I'm, I got to. This is a pan of what's going on. This is my backyard. It's unfenced. We can't have fences in the neighborhood unless you got a pool. I don't even talk about that because that's a whole nother thing. Anyway, um, this is Zinnias from seed no 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 i bought these and put these in here that's a lie i bought these and put them in here the rabbit's been eating them rabbit war petunias from seed these are two gum frina from seed i put here this i don't have no big spanish tree y'all this is a mulberry tree it is not hardy to my zone but i love it, it used to be a mulberry tree by me that I grew up bit with. So I was just randomly on the internet doing stuff I ain't had no business doing, looking at flowers that I ain't had no business getting. And the mulberry was one of those purchases. <laughs> so I'm gonna overwinter it and see how it does. But I do have two of those. Um, this container here, this is a Sunbini. I got this from Jewel also. also. It was a proven winners. And it was, uh, it was really cheap. It was like three something. It's a polka dot plant. A zinnia, I did grow this one from seed. I did grow this one from seed. And then I just put the other polka dot plant right there so it gives you some, some cohesion. I like this planter too. It's low maintenance. I don't have to do anything to it. And then it has just a spike in the middle. Let's come over here. I think this is going to be one of my favorite planters. And whatever is right here on this side, same exact thing is on this side. So we have three different varieties of coleus here. We got a electric line. These are not proven winners, y'all. These was from my nursery, a, a, a local nursery. This is electric line. This, I showed you this one earlier. And I think I grew this one. No, this is a Kong. This is a Kong. I did not grow this from C. It's a Kong coleus. Where's the tag? Maybe the tag is on the other side. This one is a main Okay, look, funny story. I have this, it looks like this, look. This, and one that I showed you over here. Those, I have three different kind of coleus that all look the same, and I didn't even realize that every time I would go out when I was getting plants for the season, I just loved it and I would see it. And then when I got them all, like when it was time for me to put everything together, I was like, girl, those are all the same plants. <laughs> so, funny story, anyway. So we got three different coleus in here. I tucked in the Dusty Miller. This has an elephant ear in it. My elephant ears have been taking so slow. So I just put some gladioli around it and some zinnia from seed in here. This is a calipacoa. Again, same story. These are not the same calipacoa. That's over there. I just happened to see them at different nurseries or different stores. Like the, and I got them home and I had bought the same exact thing. Funny. So we got a calipacoa here. We got a listen from C. We got, I'm moving fast, I'm trying. We got some dahlias. I got these from the store. These was not too good that I had. And then we got another coleus. These is a Super Bell's co uh, pomegranate punch. This one is, that is not. Although they look the same. And then I got an elephant ear. Took back here. And again, it's the exact same. See, this one's different. Like. See how that's a, the cat the punch. This is a Calibracoa iconic sunberry. So they're not the same, but to me, I feel like don't look too hard. You won't notice. So we got the elephant ear, the zinnias, the gladioli, the coleus here. Same thing on that side. Elephant ear finally woke. Now this is my arch, and this is going to be covered by the end of the season because I put these, I had these last year. They're Black Eyed Susan Vines. They're slow to start, like for me. Like I planted them like the first day after that was safe. This was last year I'm talking about. And that was like late May. They didn't start doing anything to like July. But as soon as they start, oh, 
it's over. But I think these have already started because look, they're already wrapping themselves around. I could really get away with one. One, I'm sure, will cover this whole thing, but I bought two. And I'm glad I did because the bunnies, I had them in the ground. The bunnies ate them down. They come on my porch, they do. They do. And so, I gotta back up. So I put them in the pot. Anyway, petunias, I underplanted this. This is a uh, muscadine, another fruit tree. I have no business getting, but a muscadine, it's like a big grape. They're, um, my family's from Mississippi. And so it was like a childhood memory. So when I saw muscadine, I was like, girl, I'm getting that. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to over one of these two and see how they do. Um, but I have two of those. One of them has woken up. The other one still didn't wake up. But I'm, I'm, I'm confident because that's how my other mulberries, that one had woke up and then that one, no, that one had woke up already, and then this one was still asleep, but it just woke up. So anyway, back to this planter. We got some petunias underplanted. We got a, I think this is some type of either a cantaloupe or a, sh a, sh a sugar baby. Um, and I think this is a cucumber. Let's see what's over here. Look like the rabbits could stand up. I don't know. They, I don't know how they got up here, but they ate my petunia. I think this was a cucumber. They ate some of that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, see, now this is an expansion of my food gardening because, like I said, I never really did that. I'm just going to give you a quick scan over this because, honey, I, don't, I can't even tell you most of the stuff. These are leeks in here that I got from the store and put them in there, and they have grown. <laughs> Girl... When they grow up, I'll be able to tell you oregano, marigold, bell pepper. I think I did put some okras in here. Girl, I'll tell you when they, that's a fennel. But I love this container. It's a cortine. It's a cortine container. I got it from Amazon. And it patinas. Um, but I love this container. Ain't she gorgeous? It's only been here for like a month. But this is the same thing over here. Now this one gets more sun. So I know these are okras, bell peppers. There's some peppers in here. Strawberry leaves. Um, what are those things called? Dragon. What is it called? Why can't I think of the name of that? Y'all know what I'm talking about. They grow up real tall. Girl, I can't think of it. Got a tomato in here. So that's that. I have like two little containers over here but this is my I call this like my back garden I'm never really back here um I just started planting in this garden last year so it's everything is kind of new and fresh I'll give you guys a tour later this is a container tour so this is just a farm that I never do anything to and I got an elephant here tucked back there and then this is another container I think that's an amaranth and then I put some corn that's actually I forgot about it. There's some corn and marigolds or something in there. But I'm excited for this, what this is gonna look like. Sweet potato vine, gladioli, zinnia from seeds, and an elephant ear in the middle. So we'll come back as the season progresses and see what's going on. Remember I told y'all how I did the coleus and I just barely put it in the ground? Oh no, it came out. Probably that rabbits took it out. Oh. Let's see. This is see, this is a quick tour, but this is a um, tangelo barberry. I had to put it in a pot because guess what? You would think the rabbits wouldn't like it because of the spikes. No, rabbits love this, love it. So I had to put it in a container. This is my Rosa Sharon. I'm starting to get scared. I don't know if it's coming back or not. So I planted some zinnias in here. Um, I have no idea what this is. It's a volunteer. I let it go because I thought maybe it was something, but I'm thinking it's a weed. It's another Rose of Sharon. And I put some zinnias in there and a sweet potato vine. The rabbits eat my yarrow. They ate my hookara. It's back here. It's a fight. Sweet potato vine, Rose of Sharon. I never got that working. Those are... These are nine barks. Those are in containers because the rabbits ate them down to the ground. And this is my only other hydrangea that is not working up. It was, it had green on it coming back. This is a Snow Queen. 
uh, oak leaf hydrangea. And you can, can you see? Trying to get it. Can you see? It's alive. But the bunnies, every time like it would start to grow, they would eat it. So I have to cover it. So here we got day lilies. This whole property was nothing but day lilies. And so I've slowly been taking the daily daily leaves out and planting other things. This is a rhododendron in here that got moved back here because I've had it for three years and it did not produce. And I even bought another one to threaten that one. I'm like if you don't do good, I bought another one. She didn't produce either. Anyway, catnip, hookah I got from Jules for $3.99, $3.49. Catnip, I love catnip. That's probably one of my favorite plants because they're so prolific and I don't do anything. I don't water them. Cut them back, they rebloom. The pollinators love them. Anyway, that's a this is whole girl that I moved back here. This is the first season. It'll be up here. This is a hydrangea. Don't know what kind. Let me show y'all something I just bought though. That's a treat. Have y'all ever seen a black hydrangea? This is called Eclipse. This is new. Um, it gets three by five each way. It's a big leaf hydrangea. Um, and look at the flowers. Look at that. I bought two. I had two. Anyway, let's get back to the containers. So this is the side garden. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to have to rush through this part, y'all. This is my little vegetable garden over here, y'all. Got some collars going in here. Some squash snapdragons. That's what I couldn't think of. I got some potatoes. This, I threw a bunch of seeds in there, girl. I know these is carrots, and I know a lot of these is collards, mustards, and I think some kohlrabi. Tomatoes, collards, I got drip that I need to install. Potatoes, zinnias, I got some nasturtiums, some lettuces, some tomatoes, alyssa, marigolds. This is a... Um, Another thing I didn't have no business doing a Concord grape. And she's doing good. I just put this on this trellis yesterday. Let's go. So this is why. This is gonna be a secret garden one year. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about planters. This is just a propagation of that hydrangea. This is just a quick overview of what's going on in my yard. That's more. Stuff I got going on, girl. Hydrangeas, those are Annabelle's. No, Incredibles. And then I have them lined here with, um, this is an I Spy Bucarella. I have one here and one at the end that has been struggling. So I cover her up with this. This is my favorite hookah. hookah. It's called the Dulce Spearmint. It is my favorite. I'm going to show you. I have one in my front bed, my hump bed, I call it, and my neighbor has one. It's huge I'm gonna show you these are some shade this is the first time I'm still looking at that is that a cicada I don't know what that is um, okay this planter I'm so happy with her because this I'm gonna put a picture in I'm gonna show you it was in another place in another container and she was dying and I was like let me just replant her and stop making her struggle and it is coming back. This is a, what is that, King Tut? King Tut grass, these are amazing. You cut them down to nothing, they will grow back. I'm gonna show you a picture of what this planter looked like when I first replanted it in here. Cause I had it somewhere else and it was dying. This is a Lobelia, a Lemon Corsetum. This is one of those Calbacoa. I'm not sure if this is proven winners or not. What's this tag? Lobelia Echo Dark Blue. I'm not sure. It could be. It could be not. Um, but she is so much prettier now and happy. This is going to fill out nicely, I think. This one. <gasps> okay. That's. This is the same Heart of the Jungle. I, like, I don't know. This one's getting sun. This one look like it's getting too much sun. The other one ain't get. This is new, but I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop all these off, and I'm. I got more grace with this one, but this heart of the jungle. 
This is a dahlia. I bought this dahlia. I'm not sure what kind that is, but she's so pretty. Look at her. And then these are some caladiums that I had from Balls last year. This is another one of those Sun Patients. And then this is a sweet potato vine. So we got hope for her. And this is like the front of my garage. You know? And then this is coming up to my doorstep. These are some coleus that I grew from seed. Just threw some dusty millers in there. Just the coleus in there. And then this has some alyssum. This is one coleus, but look how it's different. It's mixed. Look. That's crazy, right? So this is coleus, coleus. Begonia, never barely have to water these. The alyssum is even doing good because this is true part shade here. And then these, I think, are begonias. <laughs> They have not burst out yet. Y'all, this was when TV be, I mean, when you be doing stuff you shouldn't. This was a big, beautiful fern. And I seen somebody divide one. And I was like, oh, I could do that, girl. Y'all, I divided that fern. Let me show you the other piece of it. Girl. <laughs> girl, you can't do everything you see on TV. You can't. <laughs> you cannot. So anyway. So this is a firm, but remember I told you how I just will pinch off a coleus and tuck it in somewhere? That was this. This was like a little bitty baby, and it still is. It's still growing. And then another begonia, and then a dusty miller. Two types of, co another coleus here, and then that's another one. So it's three different type of coleus in here, and then I got some creeping jenny in here. But I think it's gonna fill in and be okay. So when you come over here, this is just coleus. They all were cuttings, as you could tell. They're so little. This is my favorite one. It was until, I'm gonna show you one that's now my favorite. This one, and then they were little baby cuttings. It's another big begonia. The hacked fern coleus. These are all baby cutting coleus. Alyssum, begonia, dusty miller. I did have one here. The cutting but it didn't let it didn't it didn't make it so this is the containers here on my front porch i had two chairs here the other one broke so i haven't replaced that but this is like the front porch and this is a span of like my front garden from this away and so i'll just give you a quick we're done with the planters containers we're done we're done so now i can breathe I wanted this to be 30 minutes, it will be 40. That's okay. So I got two minutes left to show you the flat, what's going on. So these are gladiator alliums. I'm five feet, honey. This is almost at my shoulder. Oh, I thought I had Honey, this is all, all almost at my shoulder. I'm five feet. It's gotta be like four feet. <laughs> I love these. I usually keep these up the whole season. Then we got some salvia. I can't remember the name of it. Back in blue, maybe? I don't know, but they started leaning after the rainfall. I think I maybe, I think that means I need to split them. Because after the rainfall, this is what they look like. Especially, it's three of them. One, two, three. That looks terrible, right? But there's a hydrangea here. Y'all, I got this hydrangea for $5 at Aldi's. And this is the third season, but I think it's gonna give me some blooms this year. That's a white Julia. I have four of these. The rabbits ate them all. This is the only one that's lived, and I brought it up here. Let's go. So Rosa Sharon that I'm hoping ain't dead. It hasn't done anything yet. Y'all, this is some peonies. There's three of them. This one took, I'm gonna insert a picture. I do have blooms. It took three years to bloom. This one, this is the first year of bloom. It took two years to bloom. Here's some, the scraps from that one. It was so gorgeous. I do have pictures though. It rained. Oh no, here's one. This took two years to bloom. This is the first year of bloom for me. Look at her. Look at her. It took two years to bloom. And then this one, y'all, I got this last year from the Dollar General. Not Dollar Tree, but the Dollar General. It was like $2. And it bloomed in one year. What? what? See, look, it's three plants. Like, look, look, look how small this is. And then look how big those are. It's crazy. What? So I'm really excited for those. So this is just 
a quick walkthrough. This ain't a tour, a garden tour. We'll do that later, guys. The rabbit's been up here. I thought that Lantana was rabbit free. They, it's not. They ate my, no, is this Lantana? No, Verbena. I thought it was, that's why I bought it. I bought, I was gonna get, it's like a salmon. Verbena and then I had lemon core, Angelina. And then I was alternating between the two. Me and the rabbits are at war. I, uh, we not friends. I'm not gonna act like, oh, I love the bun. I don't. Me and my neighbors, we don't. We're, we're trying to figure out a solution. The Coryopsis, they they deadheaded all my Coryopsis, but they're coming back. I mean, when I say they deadheaded them, they didn't eat them. They just bit the stems, left the stems on the ground, kept going about their life. But the Coryopsis will come back. Let's see what else is going on. These are annual salvias here that I planted. They would match the verbena if the verbena got to grow. I just bought these. These are pentamens, like rocket baby. I just bought these. There's a drift of those. Coley is tucked in. I think that's a hollyhock. Girl, look at the salvias. Girl, look at them salvias. I have a drift of them. I will be dividing these at the end of the season probably just split one of them to give me five no two I want to get five because I have millennial allium too but they are what and I, I think this is bee balm which I think it has self-seeded itself all over my garden this year anyway that's not what we talking this is my favorite coleus y'all look at that it's a kong I think mosaic I put a drift of them. And what is this that the rabbits that ate all of? I don't even remember. I just, oh, it did. And it had the beautifulest flowers. Oh my gosh. I had three of them. It's called Morrow. And it said the flowers last from June to autumn. I'm so tired of these. But this is that other hydrangea. I had a drift of them. One. Oh, there it is. One, two, they ate that up. And then, where's the other one? I think this is it, the third one. I'm gonna put these in pots. They're not gonna get them. I'm gonna, that's gonna be my job for today. I'm gonna just put these in pots. That one, two, three, I'm gonna put them in pots. They're not gonna get them. They won't win this war. And then these are, what is these? Boom, chocolata geraniums. Drift of these. Look at these roses. They didn't mess with this. That. Oh, y'all, I ain't even show y'all the side. Or the hump bed. We got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. We got a lot to go over. This is just a pan of what's going on on my side garden. We didn't even do the hydrangea bed in the back. Um. I bought these. These are Pinstamen. They showing out. I got these from Ace Hardware. They were 75 cents. I didn't even know what they were until they just started blooming. Because it just said perennial. 75 cents. They ate some of the salvias, the annuals, but they left some of them so far. What is that? Shots the daisies, the potatoes back there. I'm waiting out this hearty hibiscus isn't dead. But the other ones is getting ready to be showing out. This is my holy holy grill. And then this is another hibiscus. This is my hibiscus lane. It's another hibiscus here. And then one here. I cut this back because it usually doesn't get enough light. So I cut this uh, shrub back. Look at that. There's an amaranth back there on each side. One here. One I'm going to come back, y'all. Run back. I'm going to come back because we didn't even do Hydrangea Island. Look at this Rose of Sharon. I got this from, this is a variegated Rose of Sharon. It gives these pretty baby pink blooms. I got this from Amazon, y'all. It was a baby. It was quart size. And look at her. Sugar baby. Variegated. I love her. My neighbor across the street has one and she hates it. <laughs> oh, look at these Veronica's coming up. Oh, 
Oh, they so adorable. I got these at the end of the year from Myers. It's another grocery store. They were like two dollars. And I have, I know I have a couple of them. Rabbits ate them. Look, look. They don't even eat them. They just clip them. Look at that. They just clip them. They don't eat them. I'm gonna take this in the house though. Um, I gotta, I really gotta prune. These are my um, daisies. They get so tall and it's intermingling. This is another all these hydrangea that I have. It was, I, have, I do have a picture. It was one stick, <laughs> one stick. And now look at it, but it's been like, it was one of the first plants I put here. So it took like four years to get to here, but it was one stick from all these $5. So, you know, those sticks when you go to all these and it's like one twig, that's what that is. Okay, I got one more spot that I'm gonna show you and I'm going to close this up. I'm so sad about, I was so excited about that Myro because it's a long blooming perennial and the rabbits, oh my gosh. Look at this, this is my, I call this my hump bed. I'm really proud of this bed because it took me a long time to figure out what will grow in here because I don't really water this part and it's like dappled partial shade. I'm so proud of her though. We got Creeping Jenny I just been putting in here. We got some Bronneras, Kukaras, Hostas, the um, Hellebores. They gave me so much hope that spring was coming. These are Green Spice Hookarella. I just put these in here. It's another Hookara. There's another one of those 349 Hookaras. This. These have been here. There's some catch fly that I saved from the back. The bunnies used to eat in the back, so I brought them up here, and they are, they're coming back. Awesome. I think these are pumpkin spice. These are either pumpkin spice or caramel hookahs. I can't remember. But then we got some creeping jenny. We got some nettle, dead nettle. Those are dwarf jacob ladders. I just bought those this season. Uh, some grasses. Perennials, Creeping Jenny. I put some um, ajuga down here to try to be a ground cover down here too. This is what I was talking about. My favorite hookah. The Dulce Spearmint is almost like electric. And these are fizzling out. But look how the blooms. They're almost like electric. Look at that. And I think this is a Tiarella. I don't remember the name of her. I did promise you I was going to show y'all my neighbors. Like, look at this one. This is tiny, a baby, right? So this is the front view of this home bed. And I think that's a bolt, a birch tree. I don't know. But let me show you the front view so you kind of know what you're looking at. And I'm gonna take you over here and show you my neighbor. She wouldn't mind. I'm gonna show you her. Don't say spearmint. And that is how I'm gonna close this video. Because hers is huge. I've never seen one like it. Those are some cobias that I got from seed. And from seed. Let me show you her spearmint. I have never seen this is my neighbor. She wouldn't mind. Look how big these, what is this called? A still beast. Because this gets a lot of sun. A still beast. I drink uh, pastas, stilbies. But look at this. Look how big this is. Look how electric they are. And then it's like variegated. Oh, gorgeous. Anyway, I'm so sorry, guys. This video was supposed to be 30 minutes. Um, But just stick around. I'm, I'm going to do better than I did with my previous content. Um, I'm, I'm sad right now because some of the bunnies did things that they were not supposed to do. But I am going to put those in planters and then I am going to spray some liquid fence around my annuals here in the front. And um, we'll see what happens as the season progresses. But I promise to come back, guys. I'm not going to be gone. Especially if I come back to you with 
that's a good indication. Because I'm coming to you. I'm, my first comeback video is 50 minutes. Then <laughs> my neighbors. Good morning. Good. How are you? So I'm gonna do a little bit of yard work. And then yeah, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.